my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia, and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not an existing subscriber, welcome back. So I am bulk filming some videos. So if you've seen me already look like this, which you would have in my project pan update, I'm bulk filming some videos. But today I'm going to be doing one of my unboxings, and it is my July latest in beauty. So if you don't know much about Latest & Beauty, Latest & Beauty is a monthly subscription box and it costs £16.95, I'll put the price on the screen, I always just round up to £17. It's £12.95 for the box and then £3.25 for shipping. £3.95 for shipping. I'll put all the costs on the screen because I always forget. Once you've been with Lace and Beauty for three months and on, on your fourth payment, you then become a pro member where you will only pay for the box. So you'll only pay £12.95 each month and you get to pick six products yourself. So this is a bit different to other subscription boxes because you get to choose the products. I really like that because I do love the surprise from subscription boxes. I I get quite a few subscription boxes, but I do love this one because I get to choose the products myself. I'll only be showing you five this month because I did pick something up for someone, so I'm not going to spoil it, just in case they do watch this video. And the thing about this, which is different as well, is when you first subscribe to it, that will be when you will next get your box. So, for example, I subscribed on the 9th, so the next time my payment will come out will be the 9th of the following month. And that will be when I get to choose my products as well. And that will be how it will continue on going forward. It's not like the first of the month money will come out and they'll send you a box. It is whenever you have subscribed. So I've subscribed kind of over the years, different times. So like I said, I've got the, I've done the 9th, I've done the 13th, I've done the 24th. Tried it all different times really. It has changed recently. And I say recently, I think the beginning of the year, so not so recent, where they now drop five products a week. They used to drop a product a day, which personally for me, I preferred, but I think some people I've spoken to, they've said that it changed because people wasn't getting what they wanted because it sold out fast, which, you know, fair enough. So I think I rambled enough. If I've missed anything, I will leave it below. I'll also leave below a link to Latest in Beauty if you'd like to go over there and subscribe. So let's get into the box. So for July, it is the Summer Beauty Heroes Edit. I always have a look on the first of the month about what is going to be in the drop. So you can do that. So then you know like roughly what you want. And then if that product isn't on on the first week or whenever you subscribe, you can then just wait. Like they're not going to force you to pick something on the nav, but you do have to pick something by the next month. So for example, me, I could wait until the 8th of August, but I would have to pick on the 8th of August, otherwise they'll just send me a random selection of stuff. I much prefer to just pick stuff myself. You do get freebies. Sometimes it's products, sometimes it's like discount codes. And this month it's a discount code. You can get five pound off any collection in July and August. I'm most probably not going to use that, so if you would like, there's the code. Okay, so now let's get into my products in the box. So the first thing I picked was this. So this is the Regenerating Sheet Mask, and this is rebalances oily T-zones and hydrates dry areas. It diminish, diminishes fan lines and wrinkles. I was going to pick this last month. I was hesitant because of the whole rebalances, oily T-zones. I have dry skin, I don't have oily skin. So I was a little bit like, mm, I'm not sure. But when I actually read a little bit more into it, when it was talking about dry skin, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm running out of sheet masks, so this is perfect. And what I will do is I'll put the prices on the screen for all of these because you don't get a book because there's so many different variations. They're not gonna be able to offer a book. So, that was my first pick. I'm really, really happy with that. I love getting sheet masks. I do use sheet masks usually. I haven't in the past month, but I do usually sheet mask at least once a week. That was my first pick and I'm really happy with that. My next pick was this. I've heard a lot about this brand, but I haven't tried anything from it yet. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a go. This is the Main and Tail Herbal Grow Leaving Cream. It shapes, hydrates, and adds shine. And this is a good size. This is 156 grams. So it is a good size. 
and it's a leave-in cream so let's have a bit of a read so it can be applied to wet or damp hair the amount of product to use varies with hair fullness and length massage directly onto scalp and hair style as usual okay so this isn't really a hair mask then is it i thought it was a hair mask i think it is just a like a treatment like moroccan oil or something yeah i'm still really happy with that though i think that's a good size and i mean it's always good to have something like this i if i'm honest i usually let my hair air dry and very rarely use a hair dryer but when i have products like this it forces me to use a hair dryer so i'm still really happy with that i did think it was a hair mask that's my problem not theirs so but i'm still really happy with that and i'm excited to try this brand okay next i know is definitely definitely a hair mask <laughs> is this argan oil one from hask i've heard a lot of people rave about this because i tried the oh, i can't think what you call it now the one in the oh, the charcoal one from Hask and I wasn't wowed by it and a lot of people said to try this one and then this was a pick on latest in beauty recently and I was like I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try and see what I think to this one now I'm not a huge fan of hair masks in packaging like this because it sits on my side because I only do a hair mask once a week which is usually a Sunday and it sits there open on the side for well this one will be it feels like three three weeks not a big fan of that but i am looking forward to trying this because like i said a lot of people did say that this is a good one once i said any recommendations for other hask ones so this is the repairing deep conditioner it strengthens and restores dry damaged hair sounds perfect for me so yeah at least i know i definitely have one hair mask <laughs> I do love a good hair mask. I'm excited to try that. The next thing I got was something I was curious by. So this is the Oh Wow Flyway Control. And this is for perfectly smooth look. So I do get quite a lot of flyaways. And at the moment, I'm really enjoying just wearing my hair up. It's a lot easier. It's out my face. It's quite warm, so I don't want my hair down. So if you're wondering why a lot of the time I've had my hair up, that's why. Also, just because it's just easier. I'm painting at the other house. I'm doing all of this stuff. I don't want my hair down, so it's just easier to have it up. But I thought this would be perfect to get that really nice, sleek look. Let's have a quick look about what this looks like inside. Not heard of this brand before. So it looks like this. I will open this because I will use it. Okay, so it is a clear one. I was thinking, is this going to have a colour or something to it? Feels quite dry, so I don't... There is definitely product in there, but it is clear, so that's always positive because I was thinking actually did I buy something that was that had a colour and would it go with my hair? <laughs> so I'm excited to try that. I will report back most probably in an empties video what I think to this, whether it be it's empty or it's decluttered, because I'm trying to also include any products I declutter into my empties now, you know, just stuff that isn't going to work for me and I'm could pass along to someone else or it fortunately has to go in the bin which i hate doing so i will let you know what i think to this but this is perfect because i always get bits just flying out everywhere and i'm sure you could maybe use this on like your brows but don't quote me on that please don't do that just research it before you do it so i will have a look and see if i can use it like that because that'd be good but i was just curious by this so i thought you know what I'm going to pick it up. And last but no means least, because like I said, I'm only showing you five products. This is the hero product of the month. So Latest and Beauty each month have a hero product, which, you know, is by a big brand or a product that a lot of people like. And this month, it is Philip Kingsley. So they do leave the hero products on the website now until they, you know, the stock has gone. They used to take it off, like when the next one came, but they don't anymore. I do always try and get the hero product unless it's something that I know for definite that I will will not use. But I think I will use this. This is the deep conditioning treatment and it's the Egyptian jasmine and mandarin. I love the packaging on this. So it's quite a hair heavy box this month. I've got four products that are for my hair. So it says before shampooing, thoroughly wet hair and applying sections, 
work into hair with fingertips, cover with a shower cap and leave for 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, the longer the better, rinse well and shampoo. Please let me know with this because this has always been something I've been curious about. Is this something that once you do your shampoo, you don't put a conditioner on because if this is done before a shampoo, do you then just put a shampoo on and then leave it or do you put a shampoo and a conditioner on? Please let me know because usually when I just do a shampoo, it's knotty and I just, yeah. So let me know below because I don't want to be using it wrong, but I always get so confused by ones like this. I don't know if it's just me, but <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying this either way. It's a good size, it's a 40 mil, so it's enough for you to try and see what you think. I still have yet to try anything by Philip Kingsley, even though I do have some products by, by them. So yeah, I just thought I would pick this up because I did, I did think it would be something I would use. And like I said, I did pick a sick thing, but I, um, I, I got it with someone else in mind, so I'm not gonna show it on here. So that was my picks this month. I'm really happy with my picks. I should hope I am because I chose them. But, you know, sometimes Lates and Beauty it is difficult to find six things I found recently. But I do really like the box because, you know, you get to customise it yourself. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And it means the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And I would love to know below your thoughts and opinions on this month's box. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.